Hey folks, Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player from Tasty Licks Barbecue Spot in Shillington, Pennsylvania. Guess what we're going to make today? Let me give you a hint. That's right. Drumsticks. Turkey drumsticks. Here we go. Okay, folks, so we're going to roast some turkey legs. We're going to roast them to perfection. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to season them with the smoking guitar player's savory poultry rub, the traditional turkey seasoning and rub, and then at the end we might put on some of the secret sauce, depending on how we do things. Okay, and we got ourselves a mess of turkey drumsticks. Now, if you go and order turkey legs, you're going to get the whole leg with the thigh and the drumstick. A leg has two pieces, a thigh and a drumstick. And, uh... I actually wanted thighs and drumsticks because I wanted a little more meat and that thigh has a lot of meat on but my turkey purveyor only had drumsticks left so we're going to roast some drumsticks. These are the kind of things you see cooking at the county fair and people walking around gnawing on them like a bunch of Fred Flintstones. So we're going to grill some today so let's get started. Okay folks, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to season up our turkey legs. Now a lot of times I use the savory poultry, savory poultry. But today, since it's more like closer to Thanksgiving and we're going to do a little more traditional, we're going to use traditional turkey, which really does work amazingly good and make amazing flavor on turkey. So I got my turkey drumsticks here. And what I'm going to do is, we're going to grill these on various grills. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start getting them ready and I'm going to put some in this pan. This a here pan. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a hunker. Look at this baby here. That is definitely Fred Flintstone territory. Anyway, we get these things in here, and yes, if you've seen my videos before, you know what's next. All of the Tasty Licks rubs are made to work with EVOO Extra Virgin Olive Oil. So what we're going to do is, we're going to rub them down. Oh, yeah. Nothing like oiled up legs, man. Just rub them legs. Get down here at the ankle really good. And if we had the feet, we'd probably massage them too, but we don't have the feet anymore, so we can't do that. But you know, that can be kind of massages even on a turkey okay now now let's get our, our seasoning here you know what I think we can put a couple more in here one that's a honker and here's another one let's get them greased up okay EVOO rub them baby oh yeah rub them okay now we're gonna put our seasoning on there and this is how I like to do it just like this now you know what about a medium amount now, just remember, the more you put on here, the more I sell and I can pay my bills, you know what I mean? And my employees will really appreciate it. Like this here, look. I just get them coated real nice. You know, with a medium coat. I mean, we're not trying to, we're not doing uh, the Mona Lisa here. We're just putting seasoning on turkey drumsticks, so. And we're going to grill these babies. We're going to grill them at about 350, 375 degrees. They won't even take that long. And we're going to see how they get. We're going to show you how they get. We're going to get them on our grills. we got a couple different grills going. We're going to get them on there. We're going to do them indirect. Now you can do them direct and it works pretty good. You just got to watch it. They don't get too hot. They don't burn like crazy because the skin has a lot of fat and it'll really get your fire going if you got charcoal like we do. Now we're going to like do some on a pellet grill too. That's a little different story but it's all indirect cooking and that's probably your best bet is to just do indirect you don't got to worry about as much. Now I'm making sure I got some on the end here. I want some seasoning in there. Oh yeah. Okay. So if you look, these babies are ready to go. So let's cook them. Okay folks, you can see we got a screaming chimney full of charcoal briquettes. That's going to go in our Meadow Creek chicken cooker. So let's do that and get started. Now we already got one chimney in here. And we're putting another one because we really want to get these things rocking. Just spread them around, then we're going to spread them out with a rake a little bit and get our chicken on. So that's that part. Now, you'll also notice that we got a, a Jim Bowie here by Green Mountain Grills. 
We also got a big green egg, and we're gonna get our we're gonna put our turkey legs in all three of these. Okay, we're gonna load our chicken cooker. Now we're putting the small end to the back because that's where the hinge is. That makes it easier to get it closed. Let's get a couple more on here. Oh yeah, baby. I'm going to put this big fat one up here in the middle. Does that sound good? This one here. You know what? We're going to save that big fat one for one of our other grills. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to close our top grate. We're going to latch it, and they're going to be cooking. So here comes Mr. Hands, also known as Tim. And he's going to have to press down on this pretty hard, but he thinks he can make it happen. That's pretty thick, pretty thick stuff for the chicken curry. Can you get one of them? Yeah. Okay. okay, we're gonna let them cook. We're gonna let them cook. Now. Okay, we're gonna load up the big green egg next. Now you'll see in here, let's get a close up right on the top there. We got our perfect pan. Look how that fits. That's a proprietary pan that we have, the Tasty Licks Barbecue Company, for the large big green egg or any of these large ceramics. It fits perfect in there with our plate setter. We're going to put these legs on here, we're going to do some on here, and we're also going to do some on a pellet grill. Anyway, there they are on our big green egg. Turkey drumsticks, roast them at 375, indirect. Okay, turkey drumsticks on the Green Mountain pellet grill. We also got some sweet potatoes we're going to put on. Look at those things. They are beautiful. Where are them sweet potatoes at? There goes our hands. Now these we have the savory poultry rub on. You know what? We're going to put them down here at the hotter end. A little closer to the fire. Down here at the end it gets a little hotter, I think. Well, I think we're going to put them anyway. Look at that. Sweet potatoes. There you go. Sweet potatoes and turkey drumsticks on the Green Mountain pellet grill. We'll let you see them when they're done. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes. Let's check our chicken. Now, here's how we're going to check it. See how beautiful that is? Okay, now Mr. Hans is going to demonstrate the Meadow Creek, the best feature about the Meadow Creek. Look at that! Oh, does, does that look good? Now, I probably should mention that this is turkey, not chicken. So we're going to check our turkey, and we got ourselves our Maverick thermometer here. And let's just stick it in here and see what we got. Try not to hit the bone. Okay, so that's saying 165 there already. So we're going to let the other side cook, and they're going to be done. Now, if I wanted to, I could apply some, some more rubs, some more seasoning on here, like this here, you know, and season it up, but we don't need to. So Mr. Hand's going to close it up, and we're going to let it cook. Now, if we were going to do that, by the way, we could apply more rub. We would use this, of course. Let's close it up. Okay, we're going to check our turkey legs on our big green egg. Whoa, they look pretty good, but they're going a lot slower because this was at a lot lower temperature. It's really just getting going. Checking our turkey legs and stuff in here in the Green Mountain. They're getting cooked pretty good. There's our taters. Okay. Okay, so I'm outside our store and we're cooking turkey drumsticks today. We got some of them in here on our Meadow Creek chicken cooker. And I want to show you, we flipped these over. You know, this is the one with the flip grate. And now this is another cool part of cooking this way. I got myself the secret sauce here. And I can sauce these babies. I need a bigger brush. I can sauce these babies right on here like this. And then we can flip them. We're going to leave them like this for a while because we want the other side to cook good. But look how nice and brown those are. They're beautiful. I gotta tell you one thing, I got, them in the, I got the sauce in here which I've heated up because there's one thing man, you definitely do not want to put ice cold sauce on your really hot legs, you know what I mean? Don't put the cold sauce on your hot legs. I'm gonna sauce just those, I'm gonna leave these four here different. Then we're gonna wait a couple minutes till the other side's done and we're gonna flip them over. I'm cooking turkey drumsticks in front of our store. We're gonna 
check them right now. Let's see how they're doing. All right, this should be done. Oh, look at that. Now, you can see we sauced them over here. We left these savory, and now the magic of the Meadow Creek chicken cooker. Oh, look at that. Are they beautiful? And, and check this out here. Watch this now. I just want to show you this maverick. Watch how fast this reads. Boom. 62.9. Now, let's put them in here. Try not to hit the bone. These are more or less 153. That's perfect if we want to sauce them. 154. They're almost done. The sauce ones were over here on this side. Now just remember, don't be putting your cold sauce on your warm hot legs. Warm your sauce up first. Especially if you got some really hot legs you're gonna be working on. You know what I mean. Don't wanna put that cold sauce on there. Just like that. Look at that. Now that sauce that's on the other side is now against the charcoal and caramelized. We're going to leave this on here for a couple minutes. We're going to flip it a couple minutes, then we're going to yank them, and we're going to eat them. Okay. I reckon our turkey drumsticks are done. So let's get them out of there. Tim, also known as Mr. Hands. Let's flip them over first. Show, show them how it flips. Look at how beautiful they're caramelized. You know, while I'm here, maybe I'll take their tap. I know they're going to be way cooked. Way cooked. Isn't that quiet it is now? Okay. We got 165. It's perfect. So now we're gonna now we're gonna dismount. First he's gonna open the little collars. They're hard to do because we really kind of smush these legs on here. This cooker is made for chicken, not turkey, but we forced some turkey on it. And now watch how he hangs that up there like that. Look at that. He hangs that up. And now... And now we're going to take them off. And we're going to keep our sauced ones and our unsauced ones separate. Are they beautiful? Holy cow. I'm surprised the traffic isn't stopping. There's the sauced ones. I probably shouldn't use the same time. I gotta tell you, that's kind of heavy, man. Here are the unsauced ones. We're gonna take them inside and eat them. Thank you very much, Mr. Gans. We're gonna take them inside and eat them. Okay, folks, we cooked our turkey drumsticks on the Meadow Creek cooker. And <laughs> they look fantastic. We also got some sweet potatoes on there we put on. Okay, they got the sauce, they got the turkey rub, and you know what it's time for now, don't you? That's right, it's time for the smoking guitar player to give them a taste. Now normally, I get myself some innocent bystanders, but I couldn't find any today, so I'm just going to eat them all myself. So I'm going to... Now you know when you're at the country fair and you see those people walking down there gnawing on these things? Well, guess what? Oh! <laughs> That is seriously good. Done to perfection. Look at that. And that's how they go. The turkey drumsticks. Cooked with the Tasty Lick seasoning and the Tasty Lick secret sauce. We'll see you next time. So folks, we're going to pick these turkey legs apart, but I wanted to tell you, the first thing we're going to do is glove up. And this is going to be really hot, so this is what we do. We sell old barbecue competition supplies at our store, and barbecue competition guys know you're going to need some hot gloves. So we got these white cotton gloves that go underneath our sterile gloves. You can get all this stuff on our website. So now we got our turkey leg down here, our turkey drumstick, and we started cutting it up. We also got our poultry scissors, but it's good to do a lot of this by hand. You want to just pick the meat off that sinewy stuff like that there. See that? Now you see here we got one. We got one of those tendons right here. Just ignore it. Just pull it out. You can let this get cold too. Sometimes it's even a little easier if it's cold. But just pull the good meat off. But make sure you get all those tendons off of there because it's got a lot of them. You know, really got. See there? There's one there. Just pull it all off. Put it in your pan. And then we're gonna make our sandwiches. You see that? There's this, there's the meat right there. It's that little bit of meat. 
Now, you want to use the skin, put the skin in your sandwiches? You probably can. I just leave it all together because who cares? It's got all that good seasoning on it. That's a good piece there. But you got to watch. You don't want to get greedy because down here you got one of them sinewy things. Like a tendon thing. See that? You don't want that in the meat. Okay, so we're going to do it all and we're going to make our sandwiches. Cue the theme song. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to make the tasty pulled turkey barbecue sandwiches. That's right. And guess what I got myself right here? Some innocent bystanders. That's right. Right off the streets of downtown Shillington. That's right. You better believe it. And right here, I got myself some pulled turkey that we roasted. And then, don't forget, the final taste tester over here. Oh, sit down there. Over here, Lily. The smoking retriever. Now, stay. Keep that camera right there. Let's give it a try. Whoa, yeah. What do you think? Hey, whoa, yeah. What do you think? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Yes, 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 yes. It's good. Okay, there you go. Okay, cameraman. Now let's get to serious business here with the humongous beans. Okay. We got another bystander over there, sir. Do you think you'd like to have it? A... No. Okay, so we got one bystander turned us down, but he doesn't know what he's missing. Now look, here's all our meat we picked off of them drumsticks, and you know what I got here? A Tasty Licks traditional turkey rub seasoning. And you, you know it's gonna need a little more. That's right, so we're gonna put a little more in here. And then, I got the secret sauce, and I got it in my squirted bottle right here. Okay, we got some hamburger rolls. That's right, regular old ham. Gonna put a couple in here. Look at this, and we're gonna mix this up. Better believe it. Watch. Watch this now. Come on in close here, Mr. Cameraman. Now watch here. Watch. There you go. Now, let's do another one. Oh, yeah. Whoa, put a little more in there. Because I'm pretty sure that these gentlemen behind me are looking like they're pretty hungry. Now. Now. Now, get them on our plates. Right there's one for you. Right there's one for you, sir. Now, sir, just hold on for a second. Because here comes the secret sauce. Now, just just hang on there for a second, okay? Don't get too excited. I know you want to. I know you want to dig in, but just wait for my signal. Now we'll get one here. Hey, how about one other people? Oh yeah. <laughs> here's one for you, sir, young man. There you go, young man. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to have to have one for me, too. Because you know the smoking guitar player likes his turkey. Let's put it on there carefully. That's right. Make sure you get the right amount. I'd say weigh it every time, just like I just did. Now, here comes the secret school. Yeah. Not recommended for diabetics, but hey, who cares? Okay, now. Young man, go ahead. Take a bite. Take a bite of that barbecue. I hear country music playing. It's so good, the angels are singing. Here we go, look. Time my turn now. Here we go. Gentlemen, what do you think? It's good, really good. good. Really good, how about you, young man? Oh, it's amazing. Amazing, now tell me something. I forgot to ask you, gentlemen, have either of you ever had a pulled turkey sandwich in his store before. Never. Never. And you think they're good? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Excellent. Awesome. And, and, and let's check the dog one more time. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have another bite. And we're going to cue the theme song. There's the theme song. The country music is playing. Cue the theme song. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget.